Barbecue tricks, how about hot dog tricks today? I'll give you my toppers. No rules here, just some fun tricks with the exception of safety. First things first, and one of the best things about the hot dogs is that they're pre-cooked. Still, you need to keep them cold until you cook them. It can get hot outside, especially with the sun. That's when things like bacteria like to grow. So keep them cold on ice if you can. Then once cooked, general rule of thumb is never leave the hot dogs or any outdoor food at room temperature for more than two hours. And when you're talking about summer heat in the sun, you might want to drop that down to one hour. Better yet, keep them hot. Once you have them all heated up on the grill, make sure you keep them warm throughout the party. 140 degrees Fahrenheit or hotter until you serve. One trick is to just keep an aluminum pan in the corner of the grill as a warming only zone. For brats, people like to pour a little beer in it and make a brat tub. That works too. Outside of that warming zone, I like to fire it up, and especially when I'm cooking with charcoal, I have no choice sometimes. I have a really hot zone. That zone will probably come along with its own warning. It's okay. Someone's always going to want a burnt one. Ain't no rules. You may not want a burnt hot dog, but who would deny a bacon-wrapped hot dog? We love bacon. We love grilling, but we don't like grilling bacon. Here's the way to boost the flavor, but cut the flare-ups by starting with pre-cooked bacon. It's, it's really affordable now. Pre-cooked, extra-thin bacon strips. So many varieties out there. Super easy on the grill. Less flare-ups. And just keep it secure on the grill with a water-soaked toothpick. You can still have flare-ups, but because they're cooked inside, you don't have to fire it up as intensely as you might try to with uncooked bacon. One trick to having a better-tasting hot dog is starting with a higher-quality Hot dog. Yeah, usually those are the more expensive ones in the grocery store. The one that usually comes up the winner in taste tests is Nathan's All Beef with Casing. Tops most of the best of lists, but there are regional choices as well that are favorites. So go with the regional choice if you got one that you like. I'm a native Chicagoan and I love a Vienna All Beef brand hot dog. Hard to find other places in the country like in the South. If you got kids coming to the cookout, you do want to try scoring the skin of the hot dog a few times for good looks. One really fun trick is to score the skin of the hot dog as a spiral cut, like we did in this video here. Spiral cut hot dogs are a lot of fun. They grip onto the uh, toppings really nicely. Or even try this little gadget called the slot dog we reviewed here for giving the skin a gator-like effect on your hot dog. Kind of fun. Speaking of kids, a great hot dog trick. Serve them octopus. We'll make that octopus. Take a knife, slice some legs into the bottom half of the frank, and uh, you may not be able to get eight of them just perfectly. Prick it a couple of times with a toothpick for eyes. You're all set. You want to do a double dog trick to making them a little less awkward in the bun is by splitting each frankfurter right down the center. No, not like that. Right down the center like this lengthwise it'll make the dogs less prone to slip inside the bun next dress it up maybe it's a toasted bun one of those split top uh, new england style buns are kind of cool some people love that a hot dog bar is just a great idea and and try lots of different toppings from salsa to bacon bits to cheese to whatever you might like sauerkraut obviously a traditional favorite i like ketchup too sometimes but again keep those condiments chilled on ice with the temperature rules like we mentioned earlier. My trick for toppings, grab a muffin tin. Keep it cold on a tray full of ice. Really easy. Finally, you need to know the trick to topping your hot dog. It's got to go in order when you line up these condiments. It should go from wet first to dry last. So you got wet first, mustard, chili, ketchup, then chunky next, relish, diced onions, and get drier and drier till, of course, I always top off with celery salt for me. Thank you very much. In closing, I think the reason people really just love a good hot dog and you know, why it's such a great tailgate food is it's just hard to mess up. Even a bad hot dog still is, to me, pretty good. For more tips, tricks, other fun stuff, www.barbecuetricks.com.